Ladies and gents, welcome to episode, oh goodness, episode 21 I think we're at now. And we just killed um, Leandra the Ujima Flip. Uh, the Shadow Priestess, and she's given us uh, this wonderful Spectral Assassin, which really fits with the Necromancer build quite well. So I think I'll be using that. Uh, we also have the Jewel Crafting Table, which I've unlocked. I've just gathered the items to craft. We can now make Scourge Stones as well, and we get this uh, Scourge Pendant, which just gives us 17.7 .7 spell power. Um, not sure whether I want to take that over the Ember Chain, but I guess to get my gear score up, I might as well. So let's make the dual crafting table in here temporarily um, until we get the, the room for it and the carpets okay so we've made that I don't think there's anything else for us to make uh, so what can we make oh oh we can make some good stuff now spell power and physical critical strike chance I'm not sure about that spell power max health movements the emerald necklace Let's make one of those. I think I probably uh, can make some more scourge stones. I think I need glass for that. We've just unlocked it, so I had a quick nose before I started recording. So that should make me some scourge stones. Let's try the sapphire. There's 12% critical strike chances not to be sniffed at. I need six more scourge stones. Have I got regular sapphires and emeralds? Amethyst. A regular emerald. Sapphire. A lot of regular sapphire. Which one do we want? Emerald gives me health and movement speed for boss fights. That's good. And uh, sapphire gives me the spell critical strike chance. But at the moment, there's only that spell that we're using. Mm, so I think I'll go for the emerald. Uh, but I need a scourge pendant. Oh, that's cool. I like the animation. So, we need more scourge stones. And we need seven of them. Oh, I just need some more grave dust. Which I think I have it in here. Okay, that will get us the Scourge Stones. Um, I'm going to need to find some... I've got too many of these now, I'll just throw them away. I need more glass. Okie dokie, we have the Scourge Stones. I can now make the Emerald Necklace. And let's stick that on. There makes us gear level 56, which means we are slightly overpowered for the next boss that we're going to kill. Which is... Terror the Geomancer. Let's track. And I think they're probably up north. So I'll start off by heading oop north. Here she is. I'm going to have to do this fight quickly. Because the um, sun's going to be up soon. Let's do it. Whoa. That's a bit crazy. I'm assuming I need to take these guys out. Soon you spawn them and my skeletons then whoa. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's not doing any damage. Uh. Get the timing right on that attack. Seems a relatively easy fight so far, but I don't want to tempt fate. <laughs> I attempted fate. Oh no, and there's the sun. Ow. Is that it? Is she down? Oh, cool. Well, my boots are nearly knackered. Uh, seemed a fairly easy fight, that one. So, nice that the bosses are not giving me as much trouble. And now I die. <laughs> I nearly died. Kill the boss, but... Um, I think... I think here I can grab some gems. I've got some room, so. Okay, after a bit of a tussle, back at the ranch. And let's see what we've unlocked now. So we've unlocked a Spectral Guardian. Shields allies in an area for 125% and spell power. Attacks enemies with a mighty swing. Shield is reapplied every 1.5 seconds and lasts for, one and for 7 seconds. So we've also got the gem gem cutting table which you should be able to do so um does that mean for the build then we can have a necromancer the illusion there it is oh it's an ult ah yeah let's try that now i quite like this spectral assassin because this goes quite well with this ward of the damned um but I'm going to be losing Chaos Folly, which is quite high damage. But we can try it. We'll try it for a giggle. I'm wondering whether we could try a, an All Illusion build, where we have this plus the um, the skeletons from there plus that. This doesn't last very long. It says it throws projectiles, but it only ever lasts long enough to chuck one. Um, I'm going to keep it with this for now because this double jump ability is quite good. Um, okay, so uh, we've got the next boss now. We're just going to keep going. Level 52. This is Meredith the Bright Archer, who I've bumped into a couple of times. So I'm going to unload all of this stuff that I've gathered and then we'll go uh, get Meredith. Okay, we're on the hunt for Meredith. I know she hangs around the iron mine, so... You can go there. I've also got this uh, blood hunger, which I picked up. I can't remember which boss it was, but um, it will tell me what percentage blood um, a target has, so I can focus on getting the higher level blood. So you can see here, I've actually got a, a forty-two percent blood. Before that, I had a an eighty-nine percent. Uh, so I'm just going to try and stack the blood in my favour before we take Meredith on. Also with Meredith. Um, I need these holy resistance potions, I think, because I think she does holy damage. And I'm going to try and run with um, these uh, iron slashes. They're not the merciless ones, actually, so I could try the merciless iron reaper, but this is these I love. Uh, and they form quite a big part of the new build, which will be coming soon. So let's go see... Let's go see if we can find a good boost for blood. We are in range. There's a 16%, 23%, 22 So let's get this 23% here. I'm going to stealth. Take this guy out first. We can... There we go. Um... Um... 
just needed to boost that a bit. That's a 15%. Right, so let's go find Meredith now. I'm hoping that I can get to fight her in the mine, because then it won't matter whether it's daylight or not. I'm going to take uh, that Holy Protection Potion. I'm going to take an Enchanted Brew, and I'm going to take a Brew of Ferocity as well. Um, okay, here she is. She's there. So I'm actually just going to go straight in. Shoot me, shoot me. There you go. Let's get a couple of mobs on the go here. No, it doesn't. That's more like it. Ow! She hurt he ouch me. Bless this shot. Bless that shot as much as you like, but So she's immune to the stun that I get from that ability. She's a nippy little thing, isn't she? Come on, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. Oh, she spawns mobs. Nice. Fight. These guys are pretty tough. <laughs> oh, let him oh, she spawned more ads. That's not fun. And my shield's on cooldown. Damn it. Shields on cooldown. Right, I'm just going to go for the ult. Ow, 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 ow. 
guys are tough. I'm going to have to take a health potion, I think. The undead dudes here. No. Bless this shot. Yes. Oh, we got her. And that's a few more unlocks for us. And I'm just going to finish off these undead with my big wavy thing. Okay. So that's. Meredith down. Um, I'm just going to gather some mine and then I'm going to head back to the ranch. So uh, I'll see you back there. Okay, so we're back at the ranch. Um, I'm not sure if I showed you I put the jewel crafting table in. I also put in the gem cutting table so you can turn the crude uh, gems into regulars. Uh, so um, I also put this new uh, chest in here which holds a bit more and I'm going to start storing the gems in there. And so we killed Meredith the Bright Archer and she gives us a Sanguine Coil, which doesn't look very good to me. Launch a projectile that deals 75% magic damage and leeches 40% health on enemy hit. Heals ally for 100% and self for 40% of spell power on an ally hit. So designed to be played in a team. I also unlocked the wall thread, so it's, I've got tons of that. It's not a big uh, move forward, so we move on to the next one, which is Frostmoor the Mountain Terror. I guess we've got to kill him. What's the one we really need? We need silver ingots and an anvil. Right, that's where we're going to get the next big step up. Dark silver weapons and the Dawn Thorn regalia. So we need to move through to these. Um, and yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please, please don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the playthrough. I do have another build on the way. Uh, it's probably this build, uh, to be honest. It's it's such a good variation on the Necromancer build, which uh, has proved to be reasonably popular. So anyway, that's me for now. Thanks for watching. I will see you in episode 22. Bye for now. <laughs>